We're net sellers this morning on crude oil. We're net sellers, right? The most important thing you're going to look at when you first log in is you're going to look at our trend filter. Moving averages are worthless by nature, bad for support and resistance, terrible for moving average crossovers. Moving averages are just worthless in general. They're lagging. But they're great for trend direction. And what I like to use, I like to use this Magenta MA. And if it's angled down, the market can only do two things. We either trend up, down, right? That's one way. It goes vertical or it goes sideways. If we're vertical or we're angled down, we are net sellers in the market. We're going to try to sell up against market profile like these two control point cells. Control point cell, first test. Your best one's going to be the first test of red, blue, or green. In other words, if we're in a downtrend, we're going to try to sell red, break retest of the most volume that's traded, the control point, or break retest the LVA coming up here also. All right, that's what trend, that's trend retracements. Sell retracements here, break retest retracement there, we're net seller, net seller. Break LVA, retest LVA, net seller. So you get three shots and you can play my video. I got a couple videos on how to trade, you get three shots at selling. Play my video on that. Well, what happens about counter trend trading? Of all the traders I've seen come to me that, that get killed in the market, or they wipe out their accounts and they keep putting more monies in, they keep hitting their head against the wall. It's two things typically. One, they counter trend trade the market. They're trying to catch a falling knife or jump in front of a runaway train. In other words, they're countering the market or they're scalpers. They don't let their runners run. That's the two biggest failures I've seen on teaching hundreds and hundreds of traders, those two things. So you have to eliminate counter trend trading from your methodology if you want to be successful on trading any markets in my opinion. But when can we counter? When's the best time to, there is a chance to counter the market. The only time that you're allowed to counter the market, it has nothing to do with this white black chart over here or the market delta. My market profile tells me where I'm gonna be a net buyer, net seller, is my white chart. It's called the J signal chart. The only time that you're allowed to be a counter trend trader is if you get back inside of this big red line on the white chart or the big inside the big green line. That's called a corrective wave. And you got to be on the same side of the black line. The black line is called my line in the sand. Let's look at this net sell up here. If we look at the net sell up here, we got back inside a low value area. It got back inside of the black line. And it retraced for a red Fibonacci dot. That's a first retracement after getting back inside of high value area. Also, if you want to be really good at counter trend trades, I like between a 62 to 76% retracement from the session's high. That stopped right at 62% retracement. So if you're going to take counter trend trades, those are really good. Those are the best ones. If you get a 62% retracement from the high, to the low of the swing after it changes a big red triangle and get a retracement. But that's the only counter trend trade you could take this morning on the downside. Then the market came back up and got back inside. Then we got back inside here. We got back inside a low value. It retested low value. You're on the side of the black line, which is the line of the sand. That's a volatility line. You got positive market delta. This was a nice counter trend trade also. Nice counter trend trade. Those are only two times you're allowed to counter trend trade. There's your short, there's your long. The best one will be a 62 to 76% retracement from the high and low. In fact, the best sells or buys you're gonna have on counter trend trading is gonna be what's, that, what's called at a session high or session low. What a session high or session low is, is that if you look at it, is when you come into the session and after midnight, you're at a session high or session low, those typically are the best ones. So those are the only two counter trend trades right now that you can take this morning on crude oil. I don't care about all these blue Fibonacci dots that fire up right now that's firing against the trend. The trend's down. I'm selling red. I'm selling blue on the black chart. I'm selling break retest the green. The only time on any market you can take a counter trend trade is if you get below. I mean, back inside, inside of green or inside of red. That's the only time from all the trades I've seen when I put this system together. And you'll see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of trades. 
the trades that typically don't work out on a counter trend trade will be when you're outside of LVA. If you get outside of LVA here, you should never, ever, ever take any longs. Never take longs. If you are above high value area here, you should never take shorts. You're countering the overall push in the market. The only time you have a shot is you get back inside of my white chart, J signal chart, break retest inside. You get one shot at it. That's it. All right. See, we're net sellers still. We're still net sellers in the market. 